Hi sweet friends, today I am sharing a quick video on how to make cookie scribes. The process really is easy and you can definitely source different materials, but I'm sharing the exact materials that I used to make these scribes, so let's get started. To make our scribes, we're going to need beads, cocktail picks, earring backs, and a needle tool to help us with the putting together of our scribes. In place of the cocktail picks, you can also use something called turkey lacers or extra large needles to make longer scribes. And I also do have to say that my cocktail picks were a little bit thick, but I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. A small con to using my cocktail picks, like I mentioned, is that they're a little bit thicker. So the earring bags that we're going to use in this video are a little bit snug to go through the cocktail pick. So I definitely suggest making sure that all your parts fit before you commit to the supplies. Um, like I said, I would get larger earring bags, especially if you're using the same beads and the same cocktail picks that I'm using. I will link uh, bigger earring bags in the description below. To put together your scribe, you can definitely pick whatever color combination you want. In this case, I'm using all one color and choosing to place the largest bead at the top and the same with the rest of the beads. So I'm taking a large bead and then two medium sized beads and then two smaller beads. Now, if you are using the same beads that I'm using, these are silicone beads and they're very soft and they do come with that larger bead. Some beads just come all in the same size. They come in different colors. Uh, they also have like leopard print, all kinds of prints and all kinds of beads. But I personally like these because they're very soft. Once you are satisfied with the beads, take an earring bag and simply push it to the edge of the last bead. Like I said, my earring bags were a little bit too small. So what I did is I actually took an earring bag and with a thinner needle, I basically poked it through the earring bag just to help it open up a bit. And if you can see the thickness of this needle is a lot thinner than the cocktail picks that I'm using. And even though the cocktail picks are a lot fancier, they're stainless steel, they're super cute. Um, the only con is that they are a little bit thicker. So as you can see here, I did struggle just a little bit to get the earring bag to go all the way in, but it did stay in place. And I have been using my scribe for approximately two months now. So initially I thought that the earring bag was going to pop or break, but it hasn't. So if you do end up going the route with buying all these exact same items, just know that the earring bag comes in thousands Per pack so you can always replace it but it's very durable and then simply take another ear and back and place it on the edge of your needle in the beginning before i chose these silicone beads i actually thought of using these golden beads but i ran into a few problems so my cocktail picks were too thick and only a few beads fit through um, I also felt like they were a little bit hard, but I do own scribes with hard beads. So the type of beads is really up to you. It really depends on what you want to hold and how you want to ergonomically feel or hold your uh, scribe. But I do recommend buying with Amazon Prime and checking to see if you can do a free return just in case the beads or the cocktail picks or anything that you buy doesn't work for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you already own a scribe or if you've made one before. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.